I gained a whole eight pounds. Um, my problem area seemed to be right in here. Operation lose eight pounds is in full effect. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this, y'all. I got an invitation to hang out with some girls at a beach house rental this weekend on the Isle of Palms. Drum roll, please. So the last time we saw each other, I was at Walmart. Stepped on the scale, I went from 154 to 149. So it was a five pound weight loss during the first week of this pescatarian diet. I'm not surprised because, you know, pescatarian is my go-to. Every time I need to lose weight really fast and do it in a healthy way, I go pescatarian for sure. And it has never failed me so far. Since the goal was to lose eight pounds and during this first week, I already lost five. I think I'm just going to do the pescatarian diet for another week so it's just going to be two weeks of the pescatarian diet and the next week starts tomorrow now menu wise everything is going to remain the same only thing that's going to change is the intensity of the workouts the duration of the workouts and like i said before one day i'm gonna be working out next day i'm gonna walk workout walk workout walk and then a seventh day i do a weigh in so it almost makes me wonder how much weight I'm going to lose this time. Because even though there was some work and out that was involved during the first week, with the intensity increasing, I wonder how much weight I'm going to lose this week. But we got to consider that I'm up in the protein, so I'm going to kind of build muscle at the same time. And like I said before, muscle weighs more than fat. So hmm, I'm just curious. So... I guess at the seventh day, we'll find out together. So, yeah, I'm ready. This is the type of protein shake that I get. It's an Ensure Protein Max. It has 30 grams of protein. This is just a little bit more gentler on my GI system. I used to do the whey protein, but that seemed to be a little bit too harsh for me. So this seems to be a little bit more gentler and I'm still getting the grams of protein that I need. So yeah, Ensure Max. Next protein.
My hamstrings are not fucking with me right now. They, they tell me, bitch, what? Mm -mm. And I don't have no more magnesium. I didn't even check to see if I was out. I didn't even think to like look or, yeah. But I don't have any, because that usually helps with soreness. So since I don't have no magnesium, I'ma just run me a tub full of hot water and just soak. Yeah. So today is the end of the second week of the pescatarian diet so you already know what it is i'm about to go way in now it is my intentions to end this diet today today it's supposed to be the final day but that is determined upon how much i weigh when i weigh in because the overall goal was to lose a total of eight pounds so the first week i lost five so i just needed to lose three more pounds so if when i step on the scale I lost that three pounds, then I can proceed with shopping for next week's meal prep, right? If I had not lose the three pounds, then I'm going to extend the pescatarian diet for another week. I'm not doing it no more than three weeks. So everything is determined upon what the scale says. So the, immediately when I get to Walmart, I'm gonna go hit the scales. So that can determine what it is that I'm gonna shop for. Now in my mind's eye, I feel like I lost the weight. And what I plan on buying, if I make a goal, was a protein and rich meal for next week. Cause those little protein shakes, the low insure protein max, they come four in a pack and they cost $13 or four. That can get a little pricey. So I feel like this week I just want to eat my protein. So what I plan on buying, if I make go, is some boneless, skinless chicken thighs with some cabbage and put that over some rice. I need some Greek yogurt, the plain one, because that's rich in protein as well, and get some honey to cut the taste, some organic honey. I need some eggs as well as some green tea. So that's the shopping list if I make go. If I have not made go, then I need to shop for a pescatarian meal and I'm only doing it maximum three weeks so if I had not made goal I'm just going to do it for another week but if I have then I'm finished with it and then I can proceed with my protein meals yeah so 
Ain't no need to drag it out. Let's go ahead and see what the verdict is. And yeah, I can know how to proceed from here. So let's go. Back for my final weigh in. Let's see what the results are going to be. There we go. Talk about perfect timing. The timing on this could not be any more perfect. Now, I just got invited to hang out, not just got, maybe an hour ago. I got an invitation to hang out with some girls at a beach house rental this weekend on the Isle of Palms. And considering everything that I've just been through with this weight loss, you know, I feel like my body is in a perfect shape to put on a bikini. So the timing on this could not be any more perfect, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah. Now, when I first got the invite, I was a little skeptical. Because for one, she was saying, well, you don't need to pay anything, just come hang. So now I'm thinking of it, and they probably just need me to be the tour guide. So that's why I don't have to pay anything. Yeah. But I was a little skeptical because I was like, okay, who all going to be there? I need to know. Because to be honest with you, I just know, I'm going to say just like one and a half people, right? And then I really don't know them, know them like that. And I don't really do new people. I don't. New people really ain't my thing. So I almost said no. But I don't be outside like that. I just work and I be home. So, child, I told myself, girl, go ahead and pop out. Especially now that the body is bodying. So, yeah. Now, Friday. I'm just going to be there Friday and Saturday. Because Sunday I got something to do. So, I have to be home. Um, so, I'm looking at my schedule now. Friday is pretty much... Yeah, I'm going to have to work. But, talk about perfect timing again. The last location of the place that I'm working is close to the area where we're going to be, which is the Isle of Palms. So I'm going to probably bring my stuff with me when I leave the house at the top of the day. That way I don't have to leave from over there, fight traffic getting home to get stuff just to come back over there. I can just leave directly from work to go straight there. And then I'm looking at my Saturday schedule. And I definitely got a light schedule and yeah, I can easily move these people to a different day. So yeah, it worked out. It definitely worked out. And yeah, I am so ready to like put on a bikini because yeah, my body is so bikini body ready. Y'all want to see? Let me show y'all. So I wasn't going to put on a bikini, of course, but I found something. It's comparable, so y'all can see the deets. Yeah. Y'all remember that waist? I feel like I lost my booty, but I guess if you lose 10 pounds, it gotta come from somewhere, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Thigh is a little bit thicker, waist smaller, so I'm definitely Bikini body ready for sure. So I'm going to find the skimpiest thing to put on. And yeah, I'm going to have a ball. So, yeah. 
So I made it to the rental house, just got off work, still got my work clothes on. I did get a chance to look around the house. It is a themed house, not sure why they chose this house, but nonetheless, we are here. Um, I will take y'all around and show y'all the place, but it's six of us, well, seven including me. So six girls, seven girls, shit's everywhere. So I will just download images from the website and insert them in the video so y'all can see how everything looks. Now, I was the last one to arrive. I came today, everybody else came yesterday. So I don't have a bed or a bedroom. So I am in the playroom. Everybody else is staying longer too. I am just here for like the rest of today and all of tomorrow. So again, I'm in the playroom. The playroom has a door, it has a full bath. It has a leather couch. I can wipe it down before I lay down on it. So yeah. And depending on how comfy the couch is tonight, we'll determine whether or not I sleep here tomorrow night. We'll find out, yeah. But since I'm only here a day and a half, I am not gonna vlog. Um, I just want to enjoy my time off. So right now I'm about to hop in the shower, unpack and do my hair, change my hair. So yeah, I will see you guys on the next vlog. This is my little sleeping setup over here. Got my pulls, my covers. But this statue right here, I don't know how I feel about this over me at night. I said I was gonna close out, but I'm back in the house. I did so good during this day and a half. I could have cheated on my diet, but I didn't. I stuck with it and I am so proud of myself for doing so because it was so much temptation, but I stuck it out. Now I am back in here and I'm about to prepare my meal for the evening, which is going to be cabbage and baked chicken. So I'm gonna leave y'all with that and for sure, for sure, for sure, I will see y'all on the next vlog, okay? Okay. Mm